every penny that we made was reinvested in the company to invest in things like uh, mature accounting systems, human capital, proposal management, everything that's necessary to be successful in the space that we operate in. I think our willingness to take uh, low risk chances, to break into markets where we could bring to the table solutions that would really drive improved performance. The key to that success has really been, again, focusing on people, our employees and our customers. Even though we're in a high tech environment, still it's about the people not the technology single best piece of advice i would offer ceos is watch out for your blind spots continue to look and be vigilant about where you're really heading and what else is around you and what may be lurking in the shadows what's necessary uh, to succeed in our experience has been our people you have to invest in the right people who can operate at the same cadence as, as leadership. Uh, what's important to leadership is important to our staff. Help out other people, you know, share your lessons learned, share your stories, mentor people like you were mentored. Grow in a stovepipe way, grow in a, in a holistic 360 degree way so, so your risk is not, um, is not all in one area. The advice that I would give to anyone uh, who's leading a company in the middle of rapid growth is to surround yourself with people who you trust who've walked the path before. Be guided by their advice uh, in, in order to achieve the same outcomes hopefully they were able to achieve. Some of the routines and rituals that have helped me become a more effective leader have really been about trying to find some peace in the midst of the chaos. Sometimes you just need to find some time for yourself. I get too caught up in where we're heading and lose sight of where we really need to be focused. Like anything else with fast growth, you know, you don't know where your weaknesses are until you're growing very fast. Then you're kind of, as we say in the office, you're building a plane while you're trying to fly it. You didn't have to do certain things when you were a smaller company, but when you're growing, you have to start implementing things. We uh, prescribe to the precision execution mentality of delivery. Essentially deliver value on day one, focus on the technology, make our customers successful, and, and the rewards have, have, uh, have come our way. The biggest challenge, I would say, is in your personnel. Finding the people that fit your company culture. Every person, I think, is a piece of a puzzle, and learning how to put those pieces together to make the big picture is what's important. Nothing's gonna happen as quickly as you want to. You have to be patient, you gotta give people time. So you have to be able to prioritize people's time and just keep everybody calm and cool and collective. You kinda have to be the person that keeps everyone calm because it is very stressful. If I was to offer advice to other CEOs about leading a rapidly growing company, I would say be patient. You've grown because of who you are and the staff that you've that you put forth. You know, bringing on smart people right, isn't a bad thing. Being able to listen and understand what's going on, not pass judgment, um, gathering all the facts. And in order to do that, I think you really need to have other things in your life. You need to have a balance. You need to go out and have fun. So one of the reasons we've been able to grow and expand over the last few years is because of the investment that we've made, not only in our company, but in our employees, in order to retain them, respect them, reward them for their accomplishments. And that has resulted in not only ongoing work, but it has resulted in new work as well. A happy team is a loyal team, and when they know you're looking out for them and taking care of them and acknowledge them, they'll continue to work even harder and help your company grow. Don't let things grow unchecked. But you need to have a make sure you have good metrics and you understand the cost and obviously enjoy the growth, but, but be sensitive to that and understand exactly how fast every area of the business is growing. I think what helped us grow was first switching from being a subcontractor to being a prime contractor of some large contracts and also getting, uh, getting our leadership team strongly aligned. I contribute to success to one, finding the right people giving them enough latitude to take chances and do the right things, build the client relationships. You bring opportunity with the right expertise and hard work, you get growth. Uh, we have really had strong growth over the last several years. And in fact, a couple of years ago, we were only 60 million in revenue. And last year we closed at 128 million. And we intend to keep on that path. <laughs>